Believe it or not, in less than a week a pretty strong discussion exploded throughout the Minecraft community. Basically, many internet users are strongly fighting against one of the most famous and important pages of this cube game, the subreddit r Minecraft. In case you don't know this website, you should know that this website is where the most Minecraft interaction of the entire community happens, and it's on this site that people look for questions, funny content, and also creations of the community. People were very happy with this page, but lately, one of the biggest controversies controversies has been unleashed so far, and today I'm going to tell you everything, and we will even talk about the new rebellion and revenge that has been formed against this webpage. But before I remind you to subscribe, you can also try the new like animation. Welcome back to Bobbycraft. We will start with the main curse, the origin of this whole topic. Several players together achieved the impossible. Create the Minecraft game inside Minecraft, with a lot of mechanics such as crafting, chests, trees, mining, and all this using a few mostly redstone powers, without the need for bot or command block programming. This is clearly a completely bestial achievement, since it has shown us that Minecraft has no limits, and that today, surely, we still don't know the true potential of this game. As expected, this is the greatest creation that the Minecraft community has made. This year got more than 60,000 positive votes in just 5 days. For a social network like Reddit, this is a lot. There is no doubt that this post went viral too quickly. Then, everything changed. This important post didn't even last a week. Sadly, this post was removed and banned from the Minecraft subreddit. But how the hell was this possible? Why did Reddit moderators delete such an important post like this? What rule or regulation did they break so that this publication has been removed from this social network? I know, this doesn't make any kind of sense, and the criticisms and annoyance in social networks were noted. People were very hard with this deleted post. The criticisms towards the Minecraft subreddit was so enormous that a Reddit moderator he had to come out to speak and explain why this post was removed. His message clarifying all things was too much text, but basically, and in short, he said that the removal of this post was not unfair at all, and that everything was very well justified. Well, he said that in the rules and regulations of Minecraft to Reddit, there is something totally prohibited, not doing server advertising. But what does creating Minecraft in Minecraft have to do with promoting servers? Well, if we look at the post and the video that the guy uploaded, we can find that at the beginning of his video, there is a very big message, with a section that invites all players to join this prestigious Redstone server in order to get people to know a little more about computational redstone, and it was only because of that message that his post was removed. I understand that the moderators have to put this rule so that nobody enters a Minecraft subreddit and starts promoting their server. That would be very annoying and it will fill everything with spam. But in my humble opinion, you cannot compare the case of any person promoting a server with the biggest creation of the year. Its creator wasn't even spamming that server. He just showed the server for the purpose of propagating children's computer education. That's the problem with the rules, they apply the same in all cases, when I think it shouldn't be that way. The Reddit moderator who published the text explaining all this said that they contacted the creator of the Minecraft project and told him that he could re-upload his creation with the condition of modifying that fragment of his original video. The solution sounds easy, but I tell you no. I've been many years in the creation of content, and when you delete a video and reupload it, obviously your statistics will not be the same. Fewer users will see your creation and that is too frustrating. But it wasn't only this reason, because showing this server was a way of thanking and giving credits to the great investigation. Obviously, this whole topic became very controversial. Users were very angry with the Minecraft subreddit and didn't see the justification for removing something so important for such a silly thing. But wait, things didn't end here. This is a Lego texture pack, it's called Brickcraft, and the work behind it is amazing. Well, sadly this post was also deleted. Once again, people were fed up with this deletation nonsense. So, a huge number of ready users went to Twitter to write to Helen Angel who was once a Minecraft community manager and is currently a community director. They all explained to Helen to please do something about it. It wasn't fair that so many polls were unfairly removed. However, Helen said something amazing, and she explained that Moyan has no control over the Minecraft subreddit. That site where people post every day is not regulated by Moyang. 
The people who register that subreddit are normal people, like you and me. But it doesn't end there, because Helen says that Moya has tried to contact the Minecraft subreddit, but they have said that those owners of this very important page are against Mojang. Listen to these words. They can't do anything about this, sadly. The moderators of our Minecraft have been openly antagonistic to Mojang employees for years. As you can see, although this page is taken as something official, Mojang can't do anything. It is not involved in it. This is definitely a very serious problem, and seriously, there are many developers who also criticize this. So what is the problem that people who make epic creations can promote themselves a bit? Well, uh, Reddit moderators don't care, they are so strict with the rules. There is even a huge list of posts removed for no sense, like removing this post saying Island looks like a Minecraft tree. Or check this out, a giant road construction was also removed. Also this post where a user said it was his first time in the Java edition and he liked it better than Bedrock. Another one. A player asking the community, what would be your dream seed? They don't even allow the players to debate. But then, that's all the community has to put up with, this over-the-top moderation, and Moyan can't do anything about either. Well, nothing can be done. But the community came up with something very smart. It turns out that the owners of Minecraft and Home, those richers who have found seeds as important as, for example, the appearance of Herobrine, or also the seed of the Minecraft menu, collaborated with OmniArty, another great page, in charge of saving absolutely old versions of Minecraft and finding lost versions, they decided to unite to fight the Minecraft subreddit, creating a new subreddit called Minecraft Unlimited, with the intention of creating a revolution against the original subreddit, and make people go over to Minecraft Unlimited, where there will be no unfair bans. Undoubtedly, this is very important. We don't know what will happen. Could it be that Minecraft Unlimited can get all users to come there and become the most visited Minecraft network page? and make the people leave the other subreddit for its horrible moderators? For now I hope that the moderators of the original subreddit learn from this whole movement and change their rules, because there is no doubt that the people have tired of them and they will have to do something. Subscribe to this channel to stay informed. We will see in the future if the Minecraft subreddit stops being used by the community, in case they went to Minecraft Unlimited. If you like this case, remember to follow the playlist, where I have more interesting cases and on the right you have a video suggested by the algorithm.